guys welcome to my youtube channel um this is Alyssa hanning i still have no idea what my username is on here Alyssa hanning i guess i don't know um uh, i decided to do a makeup tutorial based off of things that i have seen on tiktok like trends and things like that to see if they work to see if they don't work um i did the fox eye makeup or i tried to but yeah if you guys want to see how i did this makeup Keep watching and be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. First, I'm going to use the Benefit Pore Professional um, Primer. Honestly, this does not work as good as people say it is. Real talk. I don't even know how much it is. It's a lot for freaking primer. And for this much primer, mm-hmm. Or maybe I just have ginormous pores that, I don't know. It does help, but it just, Everybody always talks about how great it is, and it's not that great. Okay, so I've seen on TikTok that people have been using um, baking powder before the rest of their makeup. And, you know, I like it a little crazy. Why don't we try that? So, here we go. Now, I don't know if this is going to help it last longer, and I won't be able to find out because I'm literally not going anywhere or doing anything. I'm just... <laughs> Getting ready for a selfie like I always do because social anxiety is real. Ooh, that was So normally I carve out my eyebrows with concealer. Um, I use this e.l.f. 16 hour cameo concealer in the color medium warm, which is way too pale for me. I saw a TikTok of a girl doing it like this. I'm scared. I'm going to do it one eye at a time. And then she outlined them like that. Like she you built the product up. Like use that as her like I don't know. You know that thing whenever you paint and you like hold it, there's a thumb holder and you put your paints there. That's what my eye um my eyelid is right now. Then I'll take the like excess from the brush and put it right here. We can make it work, honey. We can make it work. I'm gonna use this Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. I'm gonna start off using Wet Setter, which is this one right here. Ignore my nails. And then I'm gonna get a fluffy brush like this. Take it and I'm gonna put it in my crease area, which is right here. You can feel where your socket ends. And then I'm gonna do circles and work my way. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. This one's a lot looser, not as um, dense or whatever. And I'm gonna take just a nude. I'm taking um, Flower Child and I'm going to blend that all out. Next, I'm going to take, um, it's a denser, smaller brush. And then I'm going to take, hmm, Rebel right here. And I'm going to put it like where I put my winged eyeliner. So I'll start right here. And I always try to go up to where like if my eyebrow kept going and my eye kept going where they were neat in the middle. If that makes sense. And then blend it into the middle of your eye right here. And then whenever you don't have that much product left, just blend it in little circles. Try to do it really light handed. Just into the rest of your eyelid. Boys, am I right? So I'm gonna take an even smaller brush, just like this. Well, I guess it's not even smaller, just, you know what I'm trying to say. Brush like this, it's real dense. That same color. If I had a brown liquid eyeliner, ugh, this would be so much easier. That I would be unstoppable with brown liquid eyeliner, so can't do that now i'm taking a brush that is angled like this this is actually for concealer i think but who cares take that color again and i'm just working on um blending it like into my eyelid i probably could have just used this brush for the entire process that i just did instead of going through so many different brushes but you know what oh my god <gasps> We're gonna fix this, we're gonna fix this. We are going to fix this. Whew. 
Okay, so we we've made a mistake and we look not super cute right now. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Fluffy brush, take a fluffy brush. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. And I'm taking um, this one, I think it's called Smarty Pants. It's like a almost a nude. Yeah, it's like a nude. No, it's like a brown nude, if that makes sense. A nude that I would wear on my lips, not a nude that I would consider on my face. And I'm just going to try to diffuse that. Is that the right word? To make it look not so hideous. I hope that whenever I have fake eyelashes on, you can't even tell that this is so ugly. Freaking, I'm so bad at fox eye. Terrible, terrible. It's so hard. I don't know how people do it. Okay. I hate my makeup so much. Okay, I'm gonna put mascara on to see if that makes me like my makeup better. Okay, so I used um, these Tease lashes by Lily Lashes. They don't actually look like this. I cut them a lot and um, added another pair on the outer corners. I don't remember what they're called, but the tip to Fox High is to make it where it's like subtle in the inner corner and then it gets dramatic on the way out um most girls don't do such dramatic um i forgot the word eyelash but i do because i love being extra um i'm gonna use this color pop no filter concealer in the color deep dark i hope i don't look hideous and i've seen that they put it instead of right here where their actual cheekbone the bottom of it is they put it above it so i'm too scared they i've seen them put it like right here we're not gonna do that we'll go in the middle i'll put it right here normally i was here right there see where that line is that's how i'd normally do it your lip and then i'm so bad i feel like at um contouring my nose contouring that's the word i was looking for oh thank you thank you and then my forehead that sometimes it's big and sometimes it's not it just depends on her mood and we're looking good we're looking like an amazon warrior take a brush like this it's gross looking ew what is that oh it's eyelash glue <laughs> and i'm gonna blend it out and hope to god it looks okay blend it out blend it out dot right there and then i'm gonna try to like pinch it to get my nose and just go up and down oh lord oh lord kind of look like I, uh, i'm a brown noser i am a brown noser and proud of it <laughs> okay then they do the concealer i'm gonna use that same elf one as um two seconds ago they do it right here here and then here here I don't remember if they do it right here but I think they did so I'm gonna do it right here I do it right here because I don't I'm not gonna be looking like a puddle of mud I'm gonna look like an exclamation point where else did I do it oh right here they put it where I normally put my, um, my contour in the hollows of my cheeks. Ooh, look at me. Okay, now I'm going to take a beauty blender. I don't even know what brand this is. I'm going to spray it with my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Because it's supposed to be damp and I'm too lazy to get up and get it wet. I guess good thing that I'm doing this TikTok video because the way I normally do it, I put my concealer on top of my foundation and this is way too light for me. It's drying really, really fast. If your foundation, I mean your concealer dries too fast like mine did. Spray setting spray. Hopefully... I'll be able to hide it with foundation. Yeah, cause look at that, it's not even blending. 
here i want to use my fenty foundation so i look bougie to you guys but it's too pale for me right now so i'm going to use this ColourPop um pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation hyaluronic acid is very good for your skin and this is the color medium uh 100 zero i mean w sorry i don't know how to read i'm learning uh medium 100 zero again i'm learning to read it's medium 100 w not zero <laughs> And I'm going to take some on the back of my hand, and I'm going to use a flat, fluffy brush to um, blend it out. Rub it all in my face. Don't forget your ears. Now that I have it all on my face, the foundation, I'm going to just blend it in. Just tap it all in everywhere with this beauty blender that is slightly damp from the setting spray. Just to set everything into place. I'm gonna take the Morphe setting powder again, tap my beauty blender into it, and let it bake under my eyes, like where I would normally put my concealer. Where'd my lips go? <laughs> okay, when my under eyes bake, I'm going to take this Revolution Makeup Revolution London um, bronzer and makeup. It's called Mega Bronzer in 01 Cool. This is honestly my favorite bronzer I've ever had this far. I haven't gotten the Hula one because I'm not paying that much for that little bitty thing. No. Especially since I don't even go anywhere. Yeah, we're not spending that much money to take it off. And then instead of putting it where I normally put it, I'm going to put it here where I put that contour. Where the heck am I supposed to put my highlighter up here? I guess right there. I better look, look like freaking Gigi Hadid after this. I'm coming for you, Zane. And then my, I always do my forehead because sometimes it looks big and sometimes it doesn't. And then here, here, and then do this to make you look skinnier. Make sure you blend it out really good right here because I used to never blend it out really good right here and I'll go to work and it'd be so embarrassing. People would be like, you got a chin strap on. Ooh, that looks a little bit harsh. I love it. So now I'm gonna take the same bronzer and then just a brush like this, like this. And then I'm gonna do my nose. I'm just going up and down the bridge where I put that contour earlier. And then right here, can you see right there? And then there. And then I'm going to take some more of the setting powder and let that bake like so. And that's on a broken nose. Gonna take some more setting powder and carve out my fake <laughs> jawline. Don't take me to the pool for the first day. <laughs> now I'm gonna do blush. I'm gonna use this Ace Beauty, Beauté. Blush in Paradise palette. I got it in my boxy charm. And I'm gonna use a mix of these two colors. Just a fluffy brush like that. Where am I supposed to put it since I put my bronzer so high? I guess I'll put it on my cheekbones? I don't know. I'm taking the lighter color and I'm gonna put it like right here. Just so I don't look like I have clown makeup on. And then I'm gonna take that, this one, and I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose because People on TikTok have been doing that, and so I'm gonna do that too. My chin. I have rosacea, so I hate having red face, but here I am putting a bunch of blush on. Okay, Alyssa. So now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and the setting powder, and they said that if you um, blend it all in with setting powder at the end, it'll look just like airbrushed and beautiful. And I wanna be airbrushed and beautiful, so I'm, not, I'm gonna do that. I guess I can dust off that under eye stuff, huh? You know, I have not seen one TikTok hack about what to do with your under eyes. Do they just leave them alone? I don't know. I like to put bronzer underneath my under eyes to make my eyeballs look a little bit bigger. And I blend the setting powder into my eyebrows a little bit to make them look a little bit lighter since my eyebrows are so dark and I have blonde hair. I'm going to take um, that 
first transition shade that I use on my eyelid um, called Smarty Pants. Remember from back in the beginning of this video? Do you remember? And then I'm gonna take a flat brush like this. Look at that concealer all over my hands. She's disgusting, isn't she? Okay, I like how that looks. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with just a clean, small, fluffy brush. Put a little. My nose looks kind of dark, but I'm too lazy to fix it, so. Judge me, Karen. Now I'm going to put some setting spray on. I'll use the Urban Decay All Nighter because apparently it works good. Um, it does work pretty good, I guess. And then I take my Beauty Blender again and then um, tap it all into my face. And that just like really gets any extra stuff that is just sitting on your skin. It takes it off onto the um, Beauty Blender and then just pushes the stuff, the rest, into the skin. So you can get blackheads later, but your skin will look really good with makeup on. Next, I'm gonna use um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara for my under eyes. I really don't know how people be doing their under eyes on TikTok. I think they just don't do it at all. They just, it's nothingness. Okay, so I'm gonna take my spoolie and get that off, the extra. If you're still watching this, then I think you deserve to know that I will be doing a giveaway soon on my Instagram. I'll be giving away lots of makeup and beauty products and stuff like that. And I also am coming out with a line of something. I will not say what it is yet, but I will have it out once I get more subscribers. So tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your cousins, tell your uncle in prison to subscribe to my youtube channel like comment subscribe all that stuff i'm gonna take this ColourPop in nude indo palette highlighter palette it's very pretty i love it a lot i'm gonna take this color it's called on the loose and i'm gonna take a brush ew i'm still gonna use it i'm gonna take this brush and dabble in it and then oh i forgot that i did my stuff super high up Take a small brush. Perfect. I'm gonna put some on my lid too. Okay, now I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna use this one by Kylie Cosmetics. It's called Candy K. Candy K. It's literally the only Kylie Jenner lip liner I have that isn't broken. You know, I'm gonna use this one. It's called Alyssa by ColourPop. It really is. Yes, it's by me. <laughs> no, it's not by me. I wish it was. But I'm gonna pretend it is, so I'm gonna use Alyssa. It's like a semi matte. Oh, I hate pinks. Puts on, anyways. Here is the finished product. Uh, if you like it, make sure to thumbs up, like. I say that every freaking time. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, comment below what you wanna see next, um, any tips or anything like that. Again, I am not licensed, I'm not professional, I'm not anything. I'm literally sitting in my room on the floor with the phone propped on my bed making a tutorial for YouTube. So, not professional at all. But thanks for watching, you guys.